We've got a fun video for you today. This is going all the way back until 2012, but not a lot of people have seen this because this palm build was actually done for Discovery Channel. They actually had greenlit a pilot called the Pond Guys back in the day, go figure. We had to come up in January of 2013 with a palm build somewhere that was warm enough to build. So we reached out to our certified Aquascape contractor network and uh, Sandra Springer had a nephew who at 12 years old had built his own pond and so we flew down to uh, Jacksonville, Florida, hooked up with Sean Duffney at Earthworks. And in one day, 24 hour period, we created a spectacular pond for William, the likes of which he had never seen, nor did he even know. And that was a sizzle reel that was used for our pilot episode of what eventually became Pond Stars on Nat Geo Wild. So you're in for a real treat. Check out our pond build that we did for William Glass, surprising him with a backyard makeover. I love my job. from the metropolis of Eastside Chicago. People are attached electronically and there's nothing to get them outside into the environment. Comes an unlikely team of water experts. They are what I call the gurus of pond building. That transform the cold urban parts of North America. Everything that we use in our systems has been modeled after nature. Into Jurassic style ponds. It's gonna be big enough that the kids could swim in it. Stinking gray. <laughs> I eat strawberries and supervise. Littered with fish, reptiles, and all types of creatures. So with every project we put in, we're thinking of the local wildlife. I just got bit. <laughs> They're changing people's homes. We've taken a boring backyard and we have made it spectacular. Businesses. The artistic element of building a pond starts with the foundation. And lifestyles. It's incredible, it really is. By letting nature run its course, one waterfall at a time. Those who sweat together, stick together, or get on each other's nerves. They are the pond guys. On the shores of Lake Michigan, Greg Whitstock has spent the last 20 years building a pond empire that he calls Aquascape. Hundreds of thousands of ponds will be built every single year from the team members at Aquascape. Come on, let's get this stuff out of here. The sight, the sound, the feel. Water is the base of all life. Everybody needs a water feature. They just don't know it yet. You want to play with the jokester, huh? Aqualand is a workplace utopia. That's why we've got an indoor soccer court. We've got a weight room. We even got a volleyball court where we have a lot of fun competition games it's here. Tony. Got it. It's Tony. Hey. The prospect. Oh. We knew you had it in you. And that, to me, is what makes work fun. That's pretty cool, but it's a tough time of year. Hey, Greg. So I'm sitting in my office with my wife and the HR manager walks in. We just got this letter from a family who they have the kid who's like your number one fan. 14-year-old kid that had put his own backyard water garden in. Reminds me a lot of you when you were 14. Oh my gosh, that's pretty darn good. So I definitely thought Greg was going to want to build him something really cool for his own backyard. I think it could be tough timing-wise. I didn't know how Greg was going to react. It is a really busy time of year for us. All right, you figure it out. I want to be there. I thought, there's someone else just like me out there. And that's when I came up with the last minute idea of going to Florida and building him a really cool backyard pond. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk to Roberto, make sure that we can get this thing actually happening next week. I knew if there was anybody that can get it done, it would be Roberto. Roberto, huge favor. I need a container of water garden products to Amelia Island, Florida, three days from now. He's always pulling out crazy stuff to get anything that we need anywhere in the country. You know where it's land, right? I do know. Three days from now. You Load it up, fill it up. You got it, all right. Picture a 12 year old in a man's body. That's the pond guy. So when I need to pick up a shovel, I'll pick up a shovel. Your tag's sticking out. Oh, I like it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Be careful, man. It's poison. <laughs> Something's stuck in my back. <laughs> ah, it's too good. You know, you never know what's gonna happen out there. I'm carrying Africa. <laughs> We've always got it under control. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're, you're totally hands on. How you like that, Maples? Once we get an order for a pond, I turn into a lit fuse ready to explode. You seen those guys? I know where they're at. Brian and Ed are like family to me. They've been here so long, and I know where they're hiding. They don't think I know, but I know. Good old janitor's closet. Ha ha, I see where you guys have been. Ellen got a letter. This kid is my biggest fan, and we're gonna go there next week. When? We've already got 10,000 things going on. Aw, Brian's a bit of a goofball. You're in our space, buddy. You don't want to surprise him when he's already doing something else. Now get out. All up! My big role at Aquascapes is, you know, the construction guy, I do all the design. Brian! Come on! I thought 
thought you said no worries. Just dig. I have some control issues. Greg, are you nervous about your pants getting dirty? You know what I would do, Greg? What? Take a picture and put it on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So no job ever goes smooth. You've got to be able to think on your feet. You guys, I want you to know you're doing a fantastic job. I talk to rocks just a touch. Or, or they talk to me. So I'll probably flip it. You'll be more comfortable in a position like this. Or... Who are you talking to? Nobody. Why? So Greg always says you got to think like the water. And he's right. Ponds have really changed my life. Before the team can head to Florida, they have to attend their most important event of the year. Oh, a better fit. Does it, oh. it fits, perfect. So Ed was Greg's first employee. People are starting to walk in, I think, as we speak. It's a perfect fit for him. I'll push some gravel around it. He loves everything about water chemistry, water biology. With over a decade of experience, Ed's got pond building down to a science. I mean, it's basically, it's replicating the ocean on a micro scale. We're talking about moving 30 tons of rock hey, in, and hey, now hey, you hey. want to... Let me handle this. I'm going to get some friends out here to help. Go. I specialized in limnology, which is a study of freshwater biology. The amount of life that water water brings is unbelievable. That's a beetle grub larva. Uh, they feed off all the grass and everything. So of all the insects to find, the beetle grub larva, it's the caviar of, of the insect world. That's pure protein. Yet when you bite into them, they kind of have this pop. Not bad. Nasty. <laughs> There's a small, thin area. It's where the water meets the land. It is the most biologically diverse habitat in the entire world. And the pond guys fit right in there. We are a very unique species of animal. We're right there where the water meets the land. All right, it's time to release Monster. He is the star of the show. This is our pet turtle, so we got to keep an eye on this little guy throughout the day. Ed, what are you doing? Releasing the turtle. How long does that take? Well, it takes a few minutes. So the flower and garden show for us is prime time. I mean, that's our Super Bowl. That's the kickoff to our season. That's when everything happens. Brian, any luck? You and your stupid turtle. We just put him in. It was, what, minutes? <laughs> we turned around. We came back over here. We're starting to get people coming in. And monster's gone already. Here, monster, monster, monster. I don't see him. I don't see him either. Uh -oh. I'm actually a little worried for Ed right now. There's tens of thousands of people running through this exhibit hall here. Attention all staff, we have an escaped turtle named Monster wandering the show floor. He's a tricky little guy. You gotta find him before Greg gets here because he's gonna be pissed. Monster, Ed's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> there you are. Gosh, where have you been? Come on, that's my turtle. Yeah, it's okay. Monster! Hey, Ed, you missing something? Oh. Where did you find him? You take him out of the pond? When something goes wrong, it's uncanny that Greg just happens to show up. Come on, he was just in there. He was walking the show. Let's get him back in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he found him. Thankfully, I think I pulled it off okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, get him back in the water. Let's check out this, this uh, fountain thing that we built over here. Show ends on Sunday. As soon as it's over, we head to Florida, and that's when the real work begins. If we were able to get down there and get back fast enough, we'd be able to build a beautiful water feature for the kid. Hey, folks! Oh the we're the pond guys! We were inspired by William's story, and we would love to see the pond that we're going to rebuild for him. Sharon, how long do we have to surprise William? Day, day and a half. Perfect! It was a surprise for William. He was staying at a friend's one night, very short time period. We are originally gonna come down here and rebuild this. I think instead <laughs> of just doing a pond, let's do a fire pit. Let's do lighting. Let's make this an entire backyard transformation. Okay. We can do it, no problem. We're the pond guys after all, right guys? The first step in building a pod is surveying the land. We didn't call and see what was under the ground here, so we don't know what we're going to yeah, dig up. Right. I'll, I'll tell you the biggest problem. We got a day to do it. You think that's a problem? <laughs> then we dig a hole and pull in a liner. Uh-oh. We're about three feet short. You're the boss, and you fix the problem. Worry about getting the rocks in. We'll take care of this. After that, we place in the rocks and the rest of the landscaping. We're out of rock. I'm going there. You got it? You'll figure it out? I'm on it. All right. The cavalry has arrived. I got it. 30 tons of rock, baby. Finally, we fill it with water and add all of the different varieties of aquatic life. Prospect, hit it up, baby. The prospect's the new guy on the job. Most prospects don't last one day. Hold it. Oh, turn it off. Get it, get it. But when things do go wrong, what did you Are you do? Kidding me? We always have somebody to blame. Prospect's been blamed all day for making mistakes. That's my life today. Those are the wrong ones. 
You really think this is gonna hold the, seam, the liner together? Blue duct tape, Tony? Really? I wasn't that new, ever. <laughs> Being a Chicago boy, I've never heard of uh, sand fleas, but uh, I know what they are now because uh, they're eating the crap out of me. You know what, Tony? Go give us um, one of those squaggle meters. Okay. Squaggle meter. <laughs> I'm not keeping busy. Back is a squaggle meter. I think it's funny that he actually thinks there's a, I forget what we even called it, right? I don't think I know what a squaggle meter is. Together we deal with tight deadlines. So I don't care what happens, this thing is not gonna prevent us from getting this water feature done. Skeptical clients. I tell you, it's gonna be beautiful when it's done. I hope so. I was very concerned. Did I agree to this? And complaints from neighbors. You know what, it's not gonna be a problem. The homeowners are cool with that. In order to get the job done. 90% of the time, it seems like he's just sitting on his phone playing with Facebook all the time. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Facebook? You've gotta be on that thing all day long. You sound like my wife. <laughs> I was on pins and needles waiting to meet William. I wanted to make sure that we had far exceeded anything that he had ever dreamed about in his life. Welcome to your new bathroom. Oh my God! In one day, the pond guys converted a mundane piece of concrete and grass into a gigantic pond full of underwater critters. We have living animals that are gonna grow in the pond, so you're kind of creating this interesting circle of life. Wonderful. Yeah? It was amazing. It got me inspired and I was really excited. And this is your backyard and this is the team that did it. <laughs> Thank you. In the end, Greg and his tight-knit team... You couldn't pick more opposite people than Ed, Brian, and myself. ...overcome setbacks. It's gonna make a mess for everything. Ever since I've known Greg, it's been like down to the second. Last-minute surprises. The whole project could fail. Man, it gets annoying. And each other. When I was 18 years old, I would dig this in a day by myself. To make the world's greatest puns. I don't want our company just to be about making beautiful things. I want to be about impacting the world. They are the Pond Guys.